Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I have a video for you on this wonderful perfume, Azaro Par L Extreme. The first thing I want to say about this perfume is that it is very elegant. I like it a lot. The main accords on this perfume is warm, spicy, amber, oud, woody, rose, balsamic, smoky, aromatic, white, floral, and musky, which I love. I've told you guys many times I love musk in a perfume. I think it gives it depth. It gives it um, the layers of beautiful notes. Um, and it's very elegant. Look at the box. It's white with gold trimmings. Here's the bottom. Here it is, Azaro. Azaro is the first, um, this one is the first Azaro perfume that I have ever bought for myself. I'm gonna show you the bottle. Then look at my beautiful candle as <laughs> I'm taking the perfume out. This bottle is Pumpkin Patch a Scented Candle. And it is from White Barn. Here's the bottle. Look at, isn't it beautiful? Isn't it a beautiful bottle? I'm gonna be turning it this way. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to get comfortable here. All right, so this is a heavy bottle. It's a heavy glass bottle. The juice is like an amber. And uh, this is um, Azaro Par L Extreme. I wanna buy the regular Azaro since um, it's also a beautiful perfume. It's not as extreme as this one, but I tend to like extreme. Um, I'm not shy about wearing extreme perfumes. I'm gonna take the cap off. The cap is a plastic cap. I got this one also at the perfume warehouse and um, I think it was around um, 38 to $40, I'm not really sure, but that's um, at a discount because it's a wholesale store. Um, I'm gonna spray it so I can describe some of the scent to you. Mm, it's beautiful. Okay, I will put it right down so you can look at its beautiful colors. Okay, this is complex. The first thing that I'm smelling is the saffron. This has a saffron note, guys. Um, so it's a floral fragrance for women. Azaro Port L Extreme was launched in 2016. Azaro Port L Extreme was created by Natalie Larson, Fabrice Pellegrin. Top notes are cardamom, saffron, and rose. Middle notes are rose and lily. Base notes are cashmere wood, agar wood, which is oud, incense, and peach. Um, I forgot who I was telling that I, I love peach. I love, I'm discovering in my perfume journey that I really enjoy the peach scents. Um, it's fresh and it's young and it's energetic um, and I love it. And I grew up in a place where there's a lot of um, peach um, fields. And so in the summertime, we would always get a whiff of the wind. Um, we would get a whiff of the peach the peach fields. Um, I'm gonna hold the bottle so you can see it closely. Um, so this perfume was created and described as um, very um, couture. Um, it's irresistible. It is a new fragrance that supposedly covers the woman who wears it in a mysterious seductive veil. The composition promises an aura of pure seduction and prominent sensuality provided by the intensity of oud and its sunny accents. Original accords of the composition have been intensified and enriched with new ingredients. And the main components um, are is a trio of roses, saffron, and peach. Um, and I guess um, it's the signature for this one perfumer. Her name is Natalie Larson. Um, it has a very sparkly type of opening. Um, I've worn it once, but I think that this is to be flavored and worn when you have like 
a very fancy um, going out night, like maybe a night to go out with um, uh, your husband, boyfriend, friends, um, and dressed up very nicely. I mean, this is a complex one. It's not linear at all. Um, I love the smell of saffron. I never thought I was going to like the smell of saffron, but I love it. It gives it like, um, I, I hate to keep saying elegant, but it smells like not everyone is wearing this perfume. The person that wears this is standing out in the crowd. That's what this smells like. Okay. So, um. The peach is very soft here. It's not like a really harsh kind of a body spray type of um, peach. Although I love my body sprays and I wear them often around the house. And when I just go shopping or even just walking to the beach, I like to wear the body sprays. But this perfume is very elegant. I wouldn't wear it every single day because you just want to save it for an elegant time. Um... It is very velvety and the peaches mixed with cashmere. Um, I don't really have anything that this reminds me of because this is very unique. Um, and then I also want to say that I'm really starting to love perfumes that have oud in them. Um, I think it it's very elegant. Oud is... I don't know what the perfumery world would be without oud. Now, people that don't like oud, it's because they haven't discovered it. Um, before I discovered oud, I was um, very excited about this particular body spray from Bath & Body Works called um, Twilight Woods. And that smells a little bit like oud. Not as much as the nice perfumes, though, or this one. Um, now, I had said before it was a new perfume, but it's not a new perfume. It was uh, formulated in 2016. Um, but I think they, here in Fragantica, they called it new because the first one that really came out with this type of scent was, uh, one that was, um, launched for men. And then they came up with the women's, um, with the women's one. Um, so that's why, but, um, it has rose, two different kinds of rose, um, fragrances. Um, it has, um, top note of rose and a middle note of rose. And then the incense also makes it very mysterious. So this is very elegant. I can picture myself going to a night out for a very elegant dinner. Now the city where I live has a bay and they um, they have these um, ships that go around the bay where you get served your dinner. People dress very nice. They wear fur coats. They um, have music in the boat. Actually, it's a ship. It's not a boat. And um, it's like a dinner boat. And it goes around the whole bay, the whole bay, and you can see part of the ocean also. And that's a night when I would wear this. Um, the cardamom it smells wonderful. It gives it a mysterious sense too. And um, the cashmere wood, I love. I love cashmere wood. So it has all the notes that I love. It also has lily, which I love. I love the lily um, fragrant flowers. Um, so it is intended to be worn to be worn on occasions that require evening attire. Um like for example, I can see myself wearing a dress with faceted jewels or a little black dress um that a lot of women enjoy wearing. Um and maybe you know, maybe your hair up with some pearls on your neck. That's how I picture this. Um I don't remember the first time that I wore it. I forgot what I was wearing, but I was definitely going out. Um so yeah, and I hope that um, you guys give this a try. I wouldn't buy it on a blind buy though. I would probably get a tester to see if it's something that you might like because um, it does have the oud in there, but it's a very classy kind of oud. It's not overpowering the other um, sensual smells of the rose and the saffron. Um, the cashmere is beautiful and the incense too. It's so mysterious and so wonderful. Um, so anyway, that's about it for this video. I hope you liked it. Um, give me a like if you wish and have a good day. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.